Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me on here on Instagram as ZA Reptiles, and this is Zero, my milk snake, and today we're going to be telling you a list of 10 reptile YouTubers you should be watching. Now, this is different from some other lists that you may have seen on YouTube because these are small reptile YouTube channels. And by small, I mean 10,000 subscribers or less. Or is it 10, less than 10,000? I think I did less than 10,000 subscribers. So this was inspired because every time I see anything online about who's your favorite YouTuber, who do you guys watch, who do you want me to review, anything like that that I see posted anywhere, it's always the same names that are left in the comments always the same people you know there's a couple or several big names out there in the reptile community on YouTube and you know they've been around longer they've got a lot of good content so their names come up a lot however there's a lot of small channels that have good information and things to say and share that you know never get mentioned so I want to mention them because I am sick, and, you know, God love these channels, I think they're great, but I'm sick of seeing the same names commented over and over again. Let's get some variety up in here. So, today we're going to share with you 10 small YouTube channels, or 10 small reptile YouTubers that you should be watching. So number one on the list is Medusa, and if you guys have been around for any length of time, you know that May is like my best friend. She's the first person in the reptile community that I got like legitimately like really close with and became really good friends with. She's literally like a ray of sunshine because you know the reptile community, every community, not just reptile community, every community online has their issues, has their drama. And that's why May is so great because she's such a positive person, such a ray of sunshine. So just talking to her and watching her videos always just makes you feel really good. She's also very, very artsy and loves plants. So you've got some variety in content. But also this past year or towards the end of last year, the past two years, it's been an ongoing project. But she has been, she did a whole reptile room remodel makeover her and her boyfriend built all her animals new enclosures she decorated the inside of them so it was really fun to watch that transformation and kind of go through that journey with her so definitely absolutely go subscribe to Medusa Number two on the list is the other person I'm very, very close to, and that is Lissa's Lizards. Lissa's Lizards is another one of my absolute best friends in this community. Her, May, and I talk all the time. You may remember back in December we did a Christmas gift swap. Um, I think I might have posted online, like on here, a video what I got for them. I think I did that as part of Hurtmas. Um, and then... We didn't end up going live to open the stuff, but we did post some clips of our, um, what did we do? Zoom? I think we did a Zoom call to open all of our gifts from each other. Um, and we did post clips of that on Instagram. But anyway, Alyssa has a gorgeous reptile room, gorgeous enclosures, all naturalistic. She's very good at getting that naturalistic vibe. Um, leaf tail geckos hello I love leaf tail geckos and so I live that dream through her and if you happen to be on TikTok you might already know her because she's killing it on TikTok this is Tarzan he is my baby male yellow anaconda 
so Tarzan is about five months old or so. I got him when he was three and a half months old, so I have had him for two months now. So he is definitely getting close to the six month mark. So definitely go subscribe to her as well. Okay, number three. This is a person you want in your corner. You can always count on her to provide some comedic relief to your life. And that is JJ's Reptiles. So she actually just restarted her YouTube channel. So she kind of has like her trailer video up right now, what her channel is going to be about. Um, so you can go subscribe to her and show her some support as she journeys it back into doing YouTube again. So we've been friends for a really long time because, you know, I started out with Arcadius, um, my iguana, and so I had already been following her because of her iguana, and I, like, always wanted to be her friend, and then we became friends, and we've been friends ever since, and we've only gotten closer, and I literally love her to death. I'm very excited to go see her at Tinley, and we've got a lot of exciting plans for things that we're going to be doing with each other, so stay tuned. But definitely go check her out if you're interested in reptile rehabilitation slash wildlife rehabilitation, um, animal care. You know, she's the president of her herpetological society and she's just done a lot of awesome things. So she is very knowledgeable and has a lot of awesome experience and lots of good stuff to bring to this hobby. So absolutely, she deserves a subscribe. My name is Jordan, and this is my life. Wildlife rehabilitator, herpetologist, president of the Kentucky Herb Society, duck mom, and bud, much more. This is my YouTube channel. All right, next up is Red's Faunaverse. And we have been talking a lot more recently. She is literally the nicest person ever. Um, has gorgeous enclosures. So if you need enclosure inspiration, you want to see some really cool animals, definitely go give her a subscribe. Um, emerald tree skinks, super cool. You need to go check out her emerald tree skink. Here's the first snake that we're gonna introduce. These are arguably one of the prettiest snakes, reptiles, animals that I have in this room, and they are my Vietnamese Blue Beauty Rat Snakes. I have my female and male in here, and their names are Sapphire and Simon. I just did an update video on these guys and their new vivarium, so I don't want to repeat myself too much. They seem to like all the new room, and this is quite lovely. Long story short, for anybody that's new, these guys are also a rehome from someone I found on Kijiji, but I found out later that we had some mutual friends and such, so they ended up giving me both the snakes instead of one. I still can't believe it myself, but I do take great pleasure in looking at them every day, which is nice that they are a diurnal species, meaning that they're more awake and active during the day. So Mermaid Heather is the next one and she's literally one of the nicest people I've ever talked to. Another one who's very supportive of her friends. She's another one who's been recently doing a lot of changes in her reptile room, doing some upgrades. I think she's finished building an outdoor tortoise pen. So definitely go give her a subscribe. And if you're on TikTok, she's another one that's very active on TikTok. I wish I had that kind of commitment and motivation. Um, but definitely go check her out for some awesome reptile content. It is. it is a six foot by six foot pin right now. Like I said, this is going to be super easy to extend it out this way in the future. Um, but I can just show you guys with this little gate. It's going to open up. The grass did grow back really, really well. There are some bare spots and we're kind of okay with that right now. Okay, next up is Hunter Hauk. I can't even. I can't even. He is so young and the passion he has for reptile keeping, the knowledge. This kid is so freaking smart. He's taking the, I don't know if it's done yet, but he was taking the master herpetolo or herpetology course that I took last summer. And I mean, that's a lot of information, like very scientific herpetology stuff. And I swear he just absorbs it all and just 
remembers it. Like he's one of the few people that I can think of that speaks in scientific names when he talks about animals. The only animal I know a scientific name for in here is my Dumeril's boa because it's a Crontifus Dumerilli, which means lazy snake and that's the only reason I remember it because it's a fun fact. And he's been doing so many projects, him and Davis, another really awesome young reptile keeper. They have their really awesome podcast, Reptilian Ramble. I've gotten to be on it. It was so much fun. They've had lots of awesome guests on it. He's started like his coffee club video that he does where he goes live with reptile keepers on YouTube and like interviews them and talks about things, which is just super cool. It's another great way to bring people together. He was just recently, a lot of people know him now because he was just recently on the Snake Discovery build off for their new um, reptile zoo that they built. And so he's just done some awesome things, got to do amazing things, and he's so young. Um, we also did a Christmas Secret Santa gift swap um, last December and Hunter got me and the gifts I received from him were very nice. He sent Muppet some treats so he definitely deserves a subscribe. You won't regret it. Considering how young he is, I can't wait to see where he goes from here. So this is the Finnegaroon Masiopathus Gigantaeus that I sent Snake Discovery a little over a year ago and it's super awesome to see her in this enclosure, especially for a Finnegaroon just doing her thing. If you can see she's just, I guess, hanging out under this piece of slate right here and I love how they have it so that people can see her and encouraging her to hide right there. So that is awesome. Next up is Animals at Home. Now, Dylan is more known for his podcast, Animals at Home, but he does post the video version of his podcast on YouTube. So if you want to watch it and not just listen to it, that's on YouTube. But he does occasionally post not podcast videos as well. And I just, I love listening to the podcast. You know, if I'm sitting at home and I can pull it up on like my TV or something, then I'll watch the podcast too. But usually, um, you know, I'm at work, you know, cleaning tanks or meal prepping food for the animals. And I'll just put on my headphones and listen to the podcast. And he has so many different knowledgeable, experienced, you know, professional keepers and animal caretakers on his podcast covering so many different topics. It's really if you want to get a lot of knowledge and learn a lot of new things, that is the place to go. So animals at home, definitely go give Dylan a subscribe because he is giving a platform to so many people to share their knowledge and it's an amazing way to help grow the reptile community in the right direction. And that is testing the UV output on all the bulbs that are currently being used in this room. And I also have a whole bunch of bulbs. I've actually never thrown out any UV bulbs. Anytime I replace them after the 12 month period, I throw them in my storage room because I always knew one day it would be, I would come back to them with my solar meter and test them to see if there's anything left in them. And if there is still life in them, then I can use them. I'll show you guys how we can do that in a second. And I recommend doing that as well. If you have old bulbs, don't throw them out because one day if you do end up testing them, you may be throwing out money. So this is hopefully one way we can eventually save money by testing the bulbs and getting more life out of them than just what the package says. So the first thing that needs to happen is I need to buy a solar meter because I don't have one. So that's what we're going to do first and then we'll carry on with the rest of the video. All right, next up is Life with Lou, formerly known as Lou's Little Zoo. Now, Lou, I watched her before I ever started YouTube. When I was just on Instagram, just had Arcadius, I loved watching Lou. She just seemed so nice and sweet and bubbly and I loved her aesthetic and her style. So when I started YouTube and, you know, she commented one of the first, well not one of the first things, like I started YouTube the end of a semester before summer break and then I moved into my new apartment and posted that I was going to be doing an apartment tour. I remember that she commented that she was super excited and couldn't wait to see it. And it like made my day because here's this YouTuber 
that I had been watching and that I love to watch saying she couldn't wait to see my room tour and I was like brand new to YouTube so I was over the moon and then come October that year she messaged me asking me if I wanted to do a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers where we were going to carve our pets into pumpkins and so she really was the one that made me feel you know welcomed into the reptile community and the community of reptile youtubers and so i have her to thank for helping me connect with more people once i started my channel so definitely go give her a subscribe So next is Reptile Trainer G, and I have talked to Reptile Trainer, Trainer G um, quite a bit because of Alfredo, my legless lizard. She's one of the few people I know that have a legless lizard. So I've run a lot of things by her, um, very knowledgeable, and if I remember correctly, I believe she just moved and so has like a whole new setup. So definitely go subscribe. So another great thing about legless lizards, again, keeping with them, they're a very simple lizard, um, is feeding. You can pretty much feed them anything that you would feed a tegu outside of fruits and vegetables. So you can give them raw beef, raw chicken, raw turkey. You can give them snails. Canned snails is a favorite. If you do have issues with your legless lizard eating, canned snails is something that they're definitely going to always eat. Fish, shrimp, all that wonderful stuff. Just make sure it's either frozen or canned and not wild caught because, of course, wild caught things do have parasites. And number 10 on our list is Alco. Alco is another one that I watched before I ever started my channel. Um, she had a lot of chameleon content, but she is so incredibly nice. Such a nice person to talk to. She, her videos are always very entertaining and she posts a lot of good stuff, especially a lot of chameleon content. I know she hasn't been super active like the last year or so, but she did recently start posting videos again. So you can go tell her hi and give her a subscribe. Right? Everybody, my name's Brienne. You can also call me Alco. And in this video, we're going to be talking about different types of panther chameleons, um, otherwise known as locales. If you don't know what a panther chameleon is, they're a type of chameleon species that originates in Madagascar. And the really cool thing about panther chameleons is that they look like panthers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're, they don't actually look like panthers. Um, but if you've ever seen a panther chameleon, they're very colorful and bright chameleons and they normally come in different colorations. And obviously there are so many more channels that are small, just starting out, under 10,000 subscribers. But I was trying not to have this video be too long and you know when I do lists, I like to do lists of 10. With that being said, we can keep sharing more channels. So in the description or in the comments below, if there's another small channel that you love that I did not mention, please, please, please drop their name so that I can check them out, so that anyone watching this video and going through the comments can check them out because us small guys deserve to be seen too, right? <laughs> and as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!